everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are wondering why this video is uploaded on Saturday and not Friday, that is because, um, honestly, I just haven't had the time to film and so I really wanted to get up my, like, what I eat um, for breakfast, but I just, I haven't had the time to film it and it's just a lot easier to film that kind of video when I'm on the later shift. So, um, I'm going to do that some uh, beeswax candles and products that are used um, from bees but uh, on like animals besides that um, they don't use any products that have been tested on animals and they're just they sell a lot of products that are good for the environment for example they sell bamboo toothbrushes which is really cool and I definitely want to give those a try um, but one of the products I picked up was this brush and I've always wanted to try these brushes I don't know if you've ever seen them, and I'm trying to think, is it Art Artiste, I believe is the company, correct me if I'm wrong, that makes these brushes that are super expensive. I believe this was $12 or $24. It wasn't that expensive, but I really, really like it when it comes to using my foundation. And um, it's just, it's so nice and soft on the skin, and I just, I really like it, and it's so inexpensive, and I'd rather use this, support local, than buying some expensive brush. Um, yeah. Not that I know if that brush even more, I mean that brush could be even more amazing, but I like that this gives like a similar look and it's not, um, you're not breaking the bank. So there's that. And then if you've watched my videos for a while now, you know that I purchased the mascara pack from Sephora and this month I've been really liking uh, the Tarte um, mascara and it is the Light Camera Lashes. Oh, I didn't realize that's what it was called. I know that I've heard of that one, but I just, I really like it. I think it gives my lashes these beautiful, um, like, I don't know, these beautiful lashes without looking thick and clumpy and like, bam, in your face. I don't know, I just, I really like the way they make my face look, or my eyes look. So, that is that for beauty. And then, the last product I'm going to talk about is a all-purpose cleaner, which I know sounds really weird to talk about, but... If you know me, you know that I love to clean and organize. As much as I try to make this channel that I all about tone it up, I feel like to have a good tone it up lifestyle, you need to, to be organized. Um, obviously, no one's perfect, but you should be. You should really try to organize, keep your life organized and clean, and just so it makes you feel like I don't know. Like I never like to feel like I'm drowning. I always like to feel like I'm swimming. I always say so. Um, staying organized. It, with my house and cleaning is something that helps me feel like my life is somewhat sane and put together and you know life isn't falling apart when my house is clean and organized I feel like my life is not falling apart <laughs> so um, one of the products that I really have been loving is this all-purpose cleaner by the company Earthwise and it is in the scent citrus sage and I tried a product from seventh generation and I really like their products don't get me wrong but for whatever reason their bathroom cleaner 
was supposed to smell like lemongrass and it smelled like oregano and I don't know if you've ever used that product but it like it just it smelled so bad so I ended up giving it to my coworker, and she really likes it she's Italian so I was like maybe you know the smell of oregano maybe she'll really like it but she said she really loves the scent and they I ended up emailing the company and they uh, sent me a check uh, and reimbursed me for the product and they recommended some other products that I tried so um, I just haven't I haven't been at any stores that sell seventh generation and so I picked up this one for now and they said you know you can still use it in the bathroom as an all-purpose cleaner but I really like it I don't know if I'd use it for my entire house like to but I like I like the way it makes my bathroom smell so I really 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 like this um, and that's everything for products now I have a couple youtubers that I wanted to share because lately that's who I've been watching when it comes to like organizing and decluttering and cleaning and like my house is pretty clean for the most part um, but I'm gonna be moving and so I just I don't know I just I love watching these kind of videos cleaning is definitely a big passion of mine um, for the longest time I would not admit that and now it's like you know what I don't care I I think there's nothing wrong with loving to clean and organize as long as you're not like crazy about it um, so I wanted to share with you guys a couple of um, uh, youtubers that I've been really loving lately the one I've been watching for a while but this one I found um, during the month of June so somebody I've been watching for a while now and I actually found about found out about her through Nikki Philippi and her channel is love Meg or loves Meg I'll link it down below um, but she does a lot of like mommy uh, mommy uh, a little bit of fashion and beauty but mostly cleaning videos and I just I don't know I love watching her she's the exact same age as me and not not that it really matters but I just feel like I can relate to her a lot and then the other girl I watch is and I might butcher her name but I will put it somewhere on the screen here and link it down below and that is Vassar Vassar Beauty I'm not 100% sure um, how you say that um, but she also has like a cleaning and organizing uh, organization uh, channel and she you know she does a whole bunch of different lifestyle videos but I just I really like watching her channel as well and another one that I didn't write here but I should definitely do a shout out for her too is Micah St Stauffer, Stauffer. Um, and I know she knows um, Meg um, and I just I really like watching her channel too she's another mummy youtuber and she loves like doing cleaning and organizational videos so um, you know whenever I'm not in the mood to clean they definitely give me some motivation and inspiration to get going and clean when I have the time and um, yeah so those are those are my favorite youtubers this month and I just noticed on my favorites list that I forgot to um, mention something um, is that I really have been loving um, cause I always talk about like movies and books and songs I've been listening to and I've been really into like love songs I don't know why um, my wedding anniversary is not for another couple of months so like I, I don't know I just I've been really into like country well I shouldn't say mostly country love songs that I've heard in the past and are just like favorites of mine and one I was just listening to today was Break On Me by Keith Urban and I'm just like oh this is such a good song um, but I'll link um, a few of my favorites down below but I just I don't know what it has been I've just been really um, into listening to love songs and um yeah, and then for movies or TV shows or whatever, I've been watching The Bachelor at, um, uh, I've been watching that show ever since, like, the first season aired, so it's kind of hard for me not to watch it, like, it's just, I don't know, it's my guilty pit pleasure, so I really like watching that, and then I've also been watching Orange is the New Black, and I'll be honest, I haven't been really watching it religiously, I've watched maybe the first little bit of the new season, it's not that I don't like the show, it's just... Um, it's one of those shows where I feel like I can't be doing two things at once. If I'm going to watch Orange is the New Black, I can be sitting down and giving it my full attention or else I'm going to be like, what just happened? Um, and I just lately, I haven't had all the free time in the world, um, but I'm hoping this weekend is a little more relaxed, so I'm hoping to um, be able to watch a few episodes. And I'm also going to be playing Frozen Free Fall. I love that game. And we have a book that's a 365-day book. It's for three years. And me and my husband, so we got, we got engaged, and it's you and your partner, and you answer the same questions for three years. So you so you, you go from January 1st to December 31st, and then you start all over again in the new year, and it's just kind of fun to see where your 
of how your dances have changed or if they stayed the same. And one of them that I had talked about last year in that book was something I, I think my favorite hobby, what hobby was it or something at the time. And it's a frozen free fall. And I totally forgot about that game. And I think because um, I had been playing that game on Richard's tablet and it kind of just could play. And it was a while before we ever bought anything similar to that. And then I got an iPad and I just, I never downloaded it. So I re-downloaded it. So I downloaded it on my iPad and I'm just playing that game all the time. I love it. It's so addicting. Um, but it's just something I enjoy playing while I'm eating my breakfast or um, at night or, you know, maybe on my lunch break. I just, I enjoy playing it. So that's another favorite of mine. And then um, for books, I honestly have not been reading. One of my New Year's resolutions this year was to read the Bible and I just, I feel like if I'm gonna read the Bible, I need to like be able to have all the time in the world. Cause I don't know about you guys, but um, the Bible is definitely something that I need to like really carefully read and you know think about what they're saying and kind of just jot notes down because um, it is a big book. So it is a lot of stories in it, and the font is very small. So um, I just I don't know. I just it's something that I really need to put a lot of time into, and I just don't have that right now. So we'll see what December looks like. I'm hoping to get past, um, is it Mark or Matthew? That, whatever the first one is, that's what I'm on. And I have not left that chapter, that part of the Bible. I'm still on it. Um, but like I said, I have to like read it and then reread it over again. Like, like I just, uh, and I mean, it's been a while since I've read it. So I would even have to like refresh myself with my notes which I believe are packed away because we move next week. So believe it or not, this might be the last time you see this background. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to be filming in the new house. Um, and I'm trying to get some pre-filmed videos done, but I, I'm not sure. Bear with me. Um, I'll probably have a lot of house videos, so stay tuned to my vlog channel. I just might not be posting a lot of stuff on my personal channel um, just because I won't have time to uh, sit down and film a video. But definitely stay tuned to my um, vlog channel. Um, as I will be posting a lot of house videos. So if you don't like those videos, then unfortunately you won't be seeing a lot from me. Um, but if you're really into like decor and updates and organizing and things like that, definitely stay tuned to my um, vlog channel as I'll be like updating you guys as we settle into our new house. So that is everything for this video. I thought it was going to be really short and I'd have nothing to talk about, but I feel like this video it might be a little long, um, but I hoped you liked it anyways. June was a very busy month. I worked so many hours between nannying and my full-time job and berry picking, which I know sounds silly, but my family owns a farm and um, June is strawberry season, so I was, I've was i been helping them on the weekends. And it's just, yeah, it's a crazy month, but I'm glad it's been kind of busy because I feel like if my life wasn't busy in June, I'd just be sitting around and be like, oh my gosh. Is it time to move? Is it time to move? So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm so excited. It is officially the weekend for me. Well, kind of. I still have to babysit tonight. Um, but it's officially, like, the weekend. And then we move next week. So I work. I have Friday off. And, um, yeah, Friday's the day. So I'm so excited. Honestly, like, uh, it's going to be the best week ever because I get to spend my time packing and getting ready to move. And I know that sounds like weird for some people but I, I just I really enjoy doing it so um <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video I'm not sure when that will be um but I will try to film something when I can I I'm hoping I might what I might do for the next like month for the month of July and you might I, you might only see two videos so I might post every other Friday um but we'll see I'm hoping to get something up for you guys um, but if not, bear with me as I transition into our new house, and I, like I said, I'm still babysitting. I babysit until the end of November. I gave her six months, um, so I'm hoping that will be helpful enough for her, um, but I do have a life and, you know, things I want to do and, and, you know, things like that. So, anywho, I'm going to go now. I hope this video wasn't too long or boring, um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!